It's well. not my proudest moment. We ran into some wet corn. There's only a handful of ocean violations here. Howdy everybody. It is day one of harvest here today. We're over here at David's farm and we're gonna be helping him out this year. Uh, I did a little bit for him last year, just helping with labor, but this year um, he needs a little bit extra help. So dad and I are coming over. I'm gonna be running the grain car. David's gonna be in the combine. Dad's gonna be running the wagons. Maybe dad and I will switch off if one of us gets bored, but that's gonna be the plan. Dad's gonna be running J&M wagons with a 4640. It's the tractor he's gonna be running usually. He's running a 7820. It's going to be a little different, different setup for him today, but he'll be able to handle it no problem. He's got, I think, three 650 bushel wagons that we're going to be hauling the grain in, so we should be able to keep up no problem. And I think the fields we're going to be harvesting in are relatively close to the bin setup, so we should be good on, on keeping up. I don't know anything about this red equipment. There's only a handful of OSHA violations here, but steer clear of that make sure i keep my shoes tied we'll be fine probably the most important thing that's different about david's setup than ours is his two dogs two great big rottweilers that i love to death we got crash and rooster and they are they make me want to get a rottweiler you guys are the stars of the show big as this dog's head here. We're officially underway here. David's making his first pass. What is up, YouTubers? How's everybody doing today? This will do Army, The uh, this will do Posse. Harvest 2023, we are picking corn. Uh, a couple days in here, just seeing how things are going and things looking good. It's kind of early. 6.6 .6 inches of rain on my account as far as how much we've had this summer for rain. The good Lord blessed us with uh, some pretty decent yields, so I'm happy, I'm tickled, I'm glad to be here. Here comes Sawyer. Coming to hook me up with a dump. The last year I made him steer the grain cart on his own. This year I put auto track in there for him. Something really cool this year that we that David added to the to the grain cart uh, is we got auto steer. So completely hands off. Uh, once I get in the row, I just gotta center up my line. But once I do that, I just hit a button and I'm just rolling. So makes my job a little easier. Here goes Fireball. Well, gang, on a bit more somber note, my father passed away in July. He is and was the epitome of why we farm. I told you guys before that everything we do as farmers it's hard work and we love it. But it's to pass something on to our kids. He busted his butt. 42 years so that my kids and I could have something something to dream for and something to strive for but they moved to the farm in 1981 moved from the city to the farm in the 1980 farm crisis they struggled for years to give a to give themselves and us an opportunity to be where we are today but my mom passed away of cancer in 2016. Dad and I kept going from there. Now it's my wife and I and the good graces of the neighbors like Sawyer and Tork. God love them and really appreciate them. Good Lord has, has blessed us pretty good. So that's enough of that. We'll get through this soppy crap and we'll start having fun here.
little bit of a intermission here because the combine needs some fuel. We ran into some wet corn, tested a few other places, and it's all too wet. So we're gonna go to another field about a half mile from here, see what the moisture is on it. And if it's good, we'll open it up and go for a few more hours. And if it's not, we'll probably have to call today and come back in a couple days to start again. Big Pen, how are you holding up? I'm I'm well. I got a bag of cookies and some Cheetos, and I'm I'm all hyped up on Mountain Dew. I guess we just got to see how much room we got. David's climbing the bend to see. Hanging on for dear life. There he is. Man, that's a good looking ear. Holy smokes. What the hell, Tor? Sawyer. <laughs> Gosh, you had one job. Huh? One job. It was fine when I looked. <laughs> I know that we're on a different farm today, but that doesn't give you the right. This wheel doesn't spin like the one on the Brent. I just spun it and laughed. Are I've you done, calling bullshit? I've done this too, but when I do it, I do it away from the highway. <laughs> I do it clear out the middle of the field. It's well, not my proudest moment. Got some Jersey Mike's, courtesy of David's wife. Thank you for bringing our sorry asses some food. Uh, we're getting close to direct night time here. Bin's almost full. We're at about, I think, 23% moisture, but we're gonna keep rolling until we get this bin full. So, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna keep picking some corn. People will just probably shake their head when I say picking corn. Shelling corn, picking corn, you know what I mean. I know we don't hand pick corn anymore, but that was a that was a saying we said in our family, picking corn, that's what we did, but never heard shelling corn, so I say picking. Cheetos, you know I don't get Cheetos very often. In fact, I don't remember the last time I had a Cheeto. But I ran to the grocery store to get some snacks. I got my own snacks. When you get your own snacks, you can get whatever you want. Well, you can see the difference out there, but that's two different hybrids. So that stuff that's a little bit taller and a little bit greener, that's 115 day corn. I mean, 110 day corn right now. See there how it's a little bit taller, maybe? I can't really tell, hopefully you can. Well, that means it's just the uh, number of quote-unquote growing days that it takes for it to mature, basically from the day that you plant it. I got a pretty good load there. Just a minor combine cap so far, corn cap. There goes torque down the road, hauling the wagon home. This guy's got his lights on for some reason. He's flying a drone too, so he's multitasking big time. Yeah, these are my little homemade hopper extensions here. This right there is leftover manure hose from our drag line operation. But in the fall, I just fold them down Pack it right in the shed, just barely fits. You guys ever have that happen before? Well, Dad was running this thing in 2013, driving across the field. Whole bunch of corn went back down into the clean grain auger. He went to turn it back on and it bent, a, bent an auger down on the bottom of the combine. Come 
County. I don't know how many acres we got done today, but for the most part, it went well. From what I've heard from David, yields have been good, and that's all you can ask for. We got some pretty good timely rains this year, and I think that's what made the difference. Good day. We got a lot done, a little messing around, but we finally found the sweet spot. So. Got the bin full. If it rains, we'll do something else. If it doesn't rain, we'll probably go back to our place and see what we can find over there. I think we need a little saddle for this dog and I can ride him around. He's like, more like a mini Herford.